one of the Minister of Water and Environment, some chapters, Irish Ambassador Ronald Crown, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. As the chair of the LDC group, the Disturbed Countries Group, it's an honor to speak on behalf of the 48 least developed countries, including Uganda and my own country, Ethiopia. It's also a real pleasure to be in Kampala to share our knowledge and experience on the issue of community-based adaptation, which is of paramount importance to all of our countries. In the international climate negotiations, our group represents the interests of the world's poorest. We call for accelerating actions on the ground to secure tangible outcomes to, the pro to protect the lives and livelihoods of our people and safeguard our future prosperity. For the LDCs, this means not only ambitious emission reduction, but also adapting to the current and future impacts of climate change and variability and addressing the loss and damage caused by its unavoidable consequences. Many of our countries have large rural populations that rely on climate sensitive industries such as agriculture and communities that rely on ecosystem service. The adaptation discourse therefore needs to include ecosystem-based adaptation considerations as an important element, including the sustainable management of our ecosystems, safeguarding of our ecosystems against drought, extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and other hazards posed by climate change and variability, and the enhancement of ecological structures and functions that are essential for our communities. Adapting to climate change can be extremely difficult in the context of eradicating poverty and developing sustainability. And this is compounded by a lack of domestic capacity and lack of international support from both the public and the private sector. Yes, yet, in the face of the daunting challenges, the LDCs and other vulnerable countries are taking ambitious mitigation and adaptation action while calling on wealthier nations to do the same. There are a couple of vital ingredients to achieve the adaptation outcomes we really we rely on. First, international climate finance needs to flow and be scaled up to support our countries efforts on climate change. Although climate change is predominantly caused by the developed world, its impact hits hardest in the global south. So, while we continue to work hard to develop adaptation strategies, such as national adaptation plans, and work with local communities to build resilience and adaptive capacity, financial support is desperately needed, along with the transfer of adaptation, adaptive technologies and capacity building support. Ensuring climate finance flows to local levels will also empower communities to use their knowledge to take effective decisions and action to address local needs and priorities on climate change. Second, we need more cooperation and knowledge sharing at the world stage, including through the South-South cooperation among developing countries and multi-level, multi-sector engagement across different governments, research centers, NGOs, and private sector organizations. This is where conferences like this are incredibly valuable. A great deal of excellent research and work has been done on how best to adapt to climate change, but often the knowledge is not in the hands of those who must implement it. Global cooperation is vital to navigating the path to effective, robust adaptation action. The theme of this year's conference, Harnessing the Natural Resource and Ecosystems for Adaptation, is an important one for least developed countries, many of which are vibrant ecosystems and underutilized natural resources. 
Learning to use these resources in a sustainable way to contribute to adaptation will help give local communities control over their fate and build long-term resilience. I look forward to learning more about this important topic with you, all of you over the coming days to catalyze the real adaptation actions required to protect our communities from the dangers of climate change and secure a better future for all. I thank you.